Hello student, welcome to Microfinance. My name is Long and I'm your lecturer in charge. Before we start, I would like to go through on the course map of this unit. As you can see, we have six chapters, but in each chapter, we, uh, we have like several small sections. Each section would be length from five to seven minutes so that you won't get uh, bored. First, chapter one, this is a microfinance overview. You will go through all of the terms that related to microfinance, as well as the exactly meanings of the microfinance, who is the customer and who is the provider of this service. Chapter two, products in microfinance. As you can see that if you go to the bank, you will have a lot of products like loans, term deposit, and car loans, insurance, and mortgage. So do in the microfinance. Let's wait. Chapter three, things is getting more interesting. Various in microfinance, or you can um, understand is as the opportunities and the challenging of the microfinance. How you can pace on the opportunities to improving the performance of the microfinance, or what is the difficulties of the microfinance. Next chapter, chapter four, is getting more uh, complicated risk management. We will understand more about the risk that we would face in the microfinance and how we can manage that, how we can get rid of that. Chapter 5, this is the, the new section in this topic. Gender issue in microfinance. We will discuss more about how the microfinance would affect to the male issues and to the women issue. Chapter six, the last one, measuring the impact of microfinance. We can uh, now we see how the microfinance affects the society. Okay, now we will start in a different way. I want you to have a uh, a piece of paper in front of you. In ten seconds, please answer me two questions. What is the poverty, and Give me one example of the poverty. Starting countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And stop writing. Okay, thank you. Uh, there's no right or wrong answer, but I hope that you will send me your answer after this clip. Uh, okay, talking about the poverty, I will introduce to you two terms, relative poverty and the absolute poverty. So what are they? We start with the relative poverty. As you can see that for people, we have an average income. That someone have high income and someone have the low income. But the average in the, in the middle and the relative poverty is the person who have the income less than 50 percent of the average income absolute poverty well this is worse why because the absolute poverty is someone that their income just only adopt uh, just only adopt their daily paces they only earn enough to cover all the, of their payless consumption like food and clothes or shelters on that day. Next one, inequality. Okay, according to the dictionaries, inequality is a condition that the two sides that are not equivalent. Uh, someone is rich, someone is poor, or someone is smart, and someone is uh, not smart. So we will mention one cause that the rich shall get richer and the poor poorer. Why does this happen? I would like to show you a visa circle to explain this one. First, we have income. And the next one, we will have the saving. Third one, it is the investment. 
And the fourth one, last one, is the productivity. Okay, in the poor side, if they have low income, of course, they will have low saving because all of their consumption is spent for, for that money. According uh, that, from the saving, if they have the low saving, of course, they would not have any saving to invest in their productivity. And that explains why they have the low productivity. As a result, they have the low income. Okay, so we have two terms related to microfinance, poverty and inequality. These two terms would explain why we need the microfinance and the exact meaning of microfinance would be discussed in the next section. Um, I hope that uh, if you have any question, feel free to contact me via the email. Um, see you in the next section. Thank you for listening.